What is happening everyone? It's TG Smooth and welcome back to another episode of Ground It. And today guys, we're just going to be going over all of the mutations after the 1.0 release and how to get some of them as some of them are hidden. But anyways, jumping straight into this guys. First up, we have Little Fist and that's just going to give you additional damage for each phase. Um towards your melee and you get that just from running around punching bugs and meleeing them to death. All right, next up, Chopper. It's Chopper are for the axes and it's gonna give you a chance to stagger enemies with your axes as well as I believe do more damage once you put these on. Um, Smasher is gonna give your hammers the ability to daze your enemies, slowing their attack speed. So they won't attack as fast if you got this on and you're using hammer. Javelinier is gonna affect all your spears and that's gonna give them a chance to lower enemy armor. Assassin is gonna affect your daggers and it's gonna give them a chance to cause enemy bleed. Sharpshooter is just gonna give your ranged weapons a chance to um, pretty much stun your enemies. Barbarian is going to give all of your two-handed weapons a chance to let you get enraged, which is amazing if you're using like the Mint Mace and uh, the Broodmother Club, stuff like that. And that's just going to give you a lot of damage, but it's your blocks are going to be a little off um, on the timing, so you may have to do it sooner than you think. Moving on, Blade Master is going to give all the combo attacks with your swords a chance to reduce stamina cost of any further combos. Parry Master just um, pretty much gives you more of a time frame to allow you to parry. And if you guys don't know to parry, you just use the block button, left trigger, whatever um, platform you're on. And then you'll hear the enemies kind of give off like an audible, like a scream or something like that. And then about a second or two, uh, just block after they do that. And you'll get like little sparks that fly off. That's how you know you got a perfect block or parry. Um, moving on, Meat Shield. Meat Shield is going to be one of the few mutations you buy from Burgle. And you do that for 3000 Science. And then moving on, we have Buff Longs, which is going to give you more max stamina. Oh yeah, um, Meat Shield just gives you more HP. But Buff Longs is going to be bought after you get the Red Ant Hill chip. Um, and then you can buy that from Burgle. So after you do the Red Ant Hill, um, it's pretty easy to get to. Daredevil is going to be another one you buy from the science shop, and that's after you find the hedge burgle chip. So once you complete the hedge lab and you get the chip from there, you'll be able to purchase that from the science shop. Grassmaster is just gained from chopping down grass. Oh yeah, and I forgot to explain, each one of these up here, like Chopper, Smasher, Javelin, Nair, they just proc the more you use that specific um, weapon. So if you want to level up Javelinier, you just use spears more, kill more stuff with spears, and you'll get that leveled up. Um, so I forgot to mention that. That's probably important. So Grassmaster just lets you harvest grass faster, and you're going to get that from chopping a lot of grass. Same with Rockcracker. You're going to be able to harvest pebbles faster with your hammer. And you just level that up from cracking a lot of rocks. <laughs> Ant Annihilator you get from just killing a lot of ants. And that has three phases. Once it's at phase three, you'll get ant defense and ant damage. It does help if you're fighting ants, especially the... Uh, black ants and the fire new fire ants with the 1.0 release Now Coupe de Grasse here on the map. I'm just gonna show you on the map I'm not gonna take you to the actual place, but here on the map. I believe It's not over by rash the bias can it may not No. Okay, so over here um, on the map you have right by the chop can 
this four-leaf clover. You're just going to dive down into this puddle of water over there, and you'll swim, and you'll see it at the bottom, I believe. You just have to walk up to it, and it will give you that. And then for the second part of it, you're going to go up to the picnic table, and inside the minotaur maze is going to be a dice right before the door to the treasure chest. If you've been up there, you know what I'm talking about. You just um, keep smacking that around until it lands on 20, and then you'll get the second level for that mutation. All right, moving on. And I know some of you guys, if you're new to the game, you're not going to know what I'm talking about, but trust me, once you navigate the yard and you get used to the map, you're going to be like, oh, okay, and you can come back to this video and use it. All right, moving on, it's going to be Juicy is next, and that is going to give you Moist. Um, I forget where Juicy is acquired uh, from. Um, I know. It's where you touch every single... Every single juice box, right? Yeah, all five. Uh, well, thank you, XG. <laughs> Kiddo just hears me recording and he runs in. Phew, I gotta help Dad. Alright, um, and then next is Natural Explorer. Um, for this, you're just gonna run around and find landmarks on the map. Once you get those to pop, um, you'll start, you'll get this to proc, and then you can level it up the more landmarks you get. I believe it's every 20 landmarks per level. And then moving on, we're going to get Mertine, which is pretty much the same thing, except for you have to discover underwater landmarks, so the big huge pond. And then Cardio Fan. Cardio Fan you're just going to get from sprinting and pretty much running until you can't run anymore, you're exhausted. You do that X amount of times and you'll get that to pop. Reliable friend. Now, reliable friend, I believe you're gonna have to play multiplayer for. Um, you're just gonna have to keep reviving a buddy, and the more you do that, the more levels you'll get on this. And fresh defense is a pretty easy one. Once you start um, getting the what is it, tier two hammer, and you're able to get the mint shards and the hot cha cha candy. Um, for fresh defense, you're just going to eat the mint shards, and I believe it's a total of 10 of them to fully level up. And then same with spicy safety, you're just going to eat the hot cha-chas, and I believe you have to be eat four of those. There's only two levels for this one. And then moving on is Mom Jeans, which we get from killing the Broodmother boss. Um, and that's going to require the Broodmother BLT, and she is located up in the hedge maze. Like I said, some of those guys, I, I could make a lot longer video, but I'm just trying to breeze through this info. So if you have been on the game for a while and you kind of are familiar with it, then this is going to just kind of point you in the right direction. <clears throat> All right, and then we have Rathodotism, I don't even know how to say it. Say that in the microphone, Bubby. How are you so much smarter than me? You want to say it for YouTube? Say it, loud and proud. And so what, and what Dad was trying to say is Mithridazidism. What he said. YouTube what he said. Okay, and you just get this from killing wolf spiders, guys. Um, I believe it's kill 10 wolf spiders to fully max that out. Sometimes these levels don't proc for the amount um, of stuff you have to kill. You may have to do a little bit more, but yeah, it's worth it. <clears throat> All right, and then Truffle Tussle is another boss one, or actually our first boss one. Once you get to the Haze Lab and you're exploring it, there's it's not huge, guys, but inevitably you're going to come across an infected ladybug. Once you kill that infected ladybug inside the hedge or the Haze Lab, then you'll get Truffle Tussle. That's pretty much going to give you like the explosion from the fungus, like the fungal explosion. 
whenever you're meleeing enemies, so you get a nice little little boost to your melee damage there. It's pretty fun to play around with. Um, then moving on is Guard Dog. You get these from completing the mixers, and once again, I'll just go to the map. Um, there are mixers. The closest one to the beginning is probably the Red Ant Hill mixer, um, which is located, what, like right in this area. Right, right. Yeah, it's definitely like right over in this area, guys. Right here it is. So, and that's by the Red Ant Hill. Um, that's actually inhabited. And then there's one by the hedge over here, I believe in this little, no, right down here. And then there's one in the haze right here. And then there's one in the sandbox right there. There's one in the beginning of the upper yard or the step up to the upper yard over there, right below the termite nest. And then there's three in the upper yard, which we're not gonna go over that, but that is how you get guard dog. Um, you just complete those. And then moving on to Whittle Wizard, one of my favorite additions to the game is the staffs. And let's go ahead and grab some water so I don't die in the middle of this video. But you're just gonna have to kill a buttload of enemies with the staff. Um, it's supposed to be 40 to get this proc and then like 100. I have killed a metric metric amount of bugs with the staff and I just got level one um, not too long ago so yes and then trapper peep June or peeper is gonna be obtained from getting gold cards on your creatures now all you have to do to get the gold cards is just keep killing them the more you kill them you'll see the difference here um, between the gold card and regular amount is you just keep killing them eventually it's gonna pop up and you will get a gold card and the more gold cards you get the more you'll level up that mutation and then we have Mansteria Stranger which is gonna be acquired from fighting Mant he is one of the boss in the undershed lab area so as soon as you clear that beat that boss then you'll get that mutation Apex Predator is from killing the Mantis boss, Corporate Kickback, and Shocking Dismissal. Now, I know Corporate Kickback is from, um, is from killing Director Schmechter. He is the very final boss of the game that we know of so far. Um, you just beat him in the Orc Lab, and once you complete that, you'll get corporate kickback it's a pretty decent mutation actually and then shock and dismissal you will give from beating the assistant manager in the black ant lab um, once you complete that then beat that boss that's how you get that and that is all of the mutations guys um, and how to get them it's it sounds easier than what I'm making it sound um, but hopefully this saves you a lot of time on guessing what they are and what you got to do to acquire them anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content and yeah that's it so remember to stay smooth peace